today I'm going to be making my own helping hands. This is the classic one that most people have. Um, it's got a fairly good range of movement and it holds on to whatever you're trying to solder. Um, I do have one of the arms missing, but you get the idea. Uh, my one is going to use, instead of having these joints that move in various directions, which are quite good but still a little bit limited, I'm going to use this solid core wire, which is uh, normally found in house wiring. Um, it's fairly stiff, but it's also very bendable. Um, so I'm going to have one arm here with a clip, and then I'm going to have another arm here with a clip, and then here I'm going to have a fan to take the solder exhaust away, and then over here I'll have a magnifying glass so that I can easily see what I'm working on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is use some wood glue and just put everything into place roughly where I want it. Now while that glue is drying, I'm going to attach my crocodile clips to my um, wire here. Now what I'm going to do is strip off the end of the wire a little bit in case I decide to solder these later. So um, it's pretty simple, I've just scraped off uh, some of the plastic coating with a, with a knife like this. And then all you need to do is take your crocodile clip, undo the screw, Push the wire through until it goes over the hole there, and then put the screw back in. And do it nice and tight. And then we just take the sheath and we put it back over the connector and there you go we've got one really sturdy crocodile clip and we can move that around like that and what I might do later is solder that so um, if ever I apply any heat to this it's going to act as a heat sink through the solid core wire so let's do the other one Now that the glue has started to dry a little bit, I'm going to drive in some screws. Now I want to be careful not to put it dead in the centre of the blocks, because I'm going to be drilling those out later. Now that each block is held securely in place, we want to drill holes for our um, different wires to go into. Now the drill bit is just, just a tiny bit smaller than this, or about the same. You want a really tight fit. So let's test out the fit on one of those. Bear in mind we are going to actually put glue or some kind of epoxy in with these, but just try a dry fit first. And you can see that's already pretty tight and I can adjust the angle, but we still want to put some epoxy or glue in there. Ah. Well, <laughs> that shows you how secure it is, I can't actually, there you go, and get it out. So um, the next step is for me to grab some epoxy and then I'll come back. Rather than using a resin, I'm actually going to use no more nails, um, simply because my local hardware store had this um, readily available 
and I didn't want to sit in traffic to go to a big hardware store. Um, it's only 70 peso anyway. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is put this into the holes and then push our wires in so we get a nice tight fit. Now before I attach the fan, I want to check which way is sucking and which way is blowing. So let me grab my battery. So let's test this out. This is a 12 volt computer fan. Okay. So like that means it's sucking here and blowing there. So that's what we want. decided to actually add another block here with a really long piece of wire um, and I'm going to put a light on the end of that so I'll have a fan, a light, my two crocodile clips and then a um, magnifying glass here. But while that's all drying I'm just going to give it a quick spray of paint. You'll see that I've got a light here which is actually an LED strip so I can do that. The fan is spinning right now, I've got it hooked up to the 12 volt battery. I've got my um, magnifying glass here. Uh, so let's attach a board as if we're going to solder something. To take my clip, uh, I want it around about there. Clip that one on. Bring this one over. Clip that one on. So you can see I've got my fan there, ready to take exhaust fumes away. In fact, I'll turn my soldering iron on so we can do a live test. Um, and then I'll bring my magnifying glass over so I can get a close-up on what I'm doing. You'll see that because it's so long, it does have a little bit of wobble if you knock it, but it's, it's not anything major, to be honest. So let's turn my light so I've got better light on that. Soldering different parts onto here. This is my iron near the clean. Look like good joints. This isn't a real circuit. These are just some random parts that I put together. You can see it's very easy if you wanted it uh, down here, for example, to pull that down, bring this one down, bend it however you want. Clip it on, you've got a nice strong surface to work on. If you want your magnifying glass, bring that over and I can see, okay, like that. So you can see that on camera. Fan will take away the uh, fumes, so we don't have to worry about that. And we've got a light. Yeah, it's a little bit wobbly, um, but you know, it's, it's not really an issue because once you, you know, it's only wobbly once you're moving everything. Once you stop moving everything and you just steady it a bit, you know, you're fine, you're ready to get going again.